Still in the world of business, the Coalition for Good Governance has expressed concerns over what it terms a lack of transparency regarding the Dangote refinery's cost of production of premium motor spirit PMS per litre, saying that Nigerians deserve to know the true cost in an order to ensure fair pricing, transparency and accountability. According to the group, made up of over 90 civil societies, the move is necessary after Dangote Refinery Company has said repeatedly that the price of its PMS will be determined by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. Addressing a World Press Conference on the State of the Nation, on behalf of the group on Tuesday, the convener of Petro's Awareness Forum, Nelson Ekujimi, also questioned the current logistics strategy for evacuating PMS solely via trucks by the company. He described the strategy as inefficient, adding that it risks further straining of the nation's transportation infrastructure. It is disgraceful that Nigeria, the largest producer of oil and gas in Africa, does not have fully functional refineries. But we are encouraged by recent developments, particularly the progress of the Dangote refinery and the revitalization of our national refineries, which we hope will bring an end to our dependency on imported petroleum products and the drain on our scarce foreign resources. Dangote refinery is a step forward, but questions remain. While we celebrate the Dangote refinery as a monumental achievement, we are concerned by the lack of transparency regarding the refinery's cost of production of PMS per litre. Nigerians deserve to know the true cost of this crucial product to ensure fair, fair pricing, transparency, and accountability. Additionally, we question the current logistics strategy for evacuating PMS solely via trucks, which is inefficient and risks further straining our transportation infrastructure. We urge the government to implement alternative logistics solutions, such as rail and water transportation, to improve efficiency, create jobs and wealth, sustain existing ones, and bolster national security.